Hello everyone, my name is Jamie McQuaid with Magnet Forensics and today we're going to do some quick acquisitions on some of the more popular devices you may come across in your investigations using Magnet Axiom. Right up the bat here, I've got an iPhone 7. This has uh, been connected to my computer. It's unlocked. So I just unlocked it and uh, it's already been trusted to this computer. So we've already gone through those steps and connected to the computer. And now I've got Axiom up ready to go. So let's uh, start creating this case and then prepping it up for, uh, for acquisition. So first thing is case details. So I'm going to give it a case name. Uh, we'll just iPhone 7. We'll, we won't be too original here. It's just a, for demo purposes. It's not a real case. And uh, I actually name both the, uh, the folders for the case evidence and the acquired evidence the same thing. Um, I just do that by habit. And, but they actually are stored in two different paths. So you can see one's on the local C drive and this one's another drive. I, I do this. It actually makes uh, processing and acquisitions much faster when you're writing your case data to one drive and then uh, um, your acquired evidence to another. It's, uh, it makes the uh, um, drives work a little bit harder for you. So we've got that set up. Uh, let's go to evidence sources. Uh, we've got, obviously, like I said, we're doing an, uh, an iPhone 7 here. So we'll go mobile, we'll choose iOS, and we'll choose acquire evidence. And now we can see that the iPhone 7 here is up. Uh, you can see the model number is A1778. Uh, it's running iOS 11, so it's uh, pretty recent, not the most recent one there, but it's, it is running iOS 11 there. You got IMEI, and you've got uh, privileged access says no. Um, this is really important to, to, to look at when you uh, first connect the device. Um, basically, this says the, the phone is not jailbroken. Uh, and this is probably the most common scenario you'd come across in most investigations. Not too often you're going to come across a phone that's already been jailbroken. Um, but it does have an impact on what you can acquire. If the phone is already jailbroken, it's pretty easy you can use the FC2 service to pull um, the uh, a full file system dump of the phone. But because it's not already jailbroken, uh, we're going to be limited in our acquisition options. So let me just hit next here. And you can see the acquisition options here. And you can see because it's not already jailbroken, the full is grayed out. So we've, we're stuck with just doing a quick acquisition. And unfortunately, this is the reality of most iOS devices. You're pretty much limited no matter what tool you use. Is You're, you're limited to getting basically an iTunes backup. Um, so that's what our quick acquisition here is going to do. It's going to do an iTunes backup. The biggest difference uh, in, uh, in your options here is whether you choose to encrypt the backup or not. So if I hit next, here well, I keep the quick selected and hit next it's gonna pop up here and uh, it's gonna say if the encrypted backup feature is turned on you can acquire more evidence by turning on choosing an encrypted backup so there is no backup password set here but I have the so I have the choice to either um, create an encrypted backup or an unencrypted backup if I leave this blank the password blank and hit OK it will create an unencrypted backup which is great easy to use no problem there's one benefit though to creating your own encrypted backup you will if you create an encrypted backup you will get the iOS keychain as well which will give you some additional user passwords and tokens that you can actually use for to further your investigation so I I'm going to actually set a password here. I'm just going to use a simple one so I can remember it. Um, I put it in here. Axiom will remember it when it goes to uh, automatically when it goes to uh, process it. Um, so that's uh, nice and easy. So I set the password there. I can hit OK and it'll go through. Now, sometimes you might come across phones that already have a password set. You have to provide that password to uh, in order to do it. It's going to force you to do an encrypted backup because the user has already set up a backup password, an iTunes backup password there. So you need to use that. Now, luckily, with iOS 11 or later devices, you can actually disable that on the phone. There are plenty of blogs out there on how to do this. Um, this is only this is new with iOS 11, uh, 9 and 10. You would actually be limited to what you could do at that point or you would have to upgrade the phone to iOS 11 but like I said there's lots of blogs out there that show how to do this it's pretty straightforward um, but for this one there's none set so I'm just gonna set my own I'm gonna hit OK gets queued up here ready to go it's ready to be imaged and now we can add other sources of evidence we, if we have a uh, computer evidence or other mobile or cloud evidence you can throw it in here but we're just going to focus on the iPhone 7 here processing details same as any other case you can set keywords hashes um, artifacts um, I'm just going to leave all the defaults leave all the default artifacts here um, leave them all on and just hit uh, next and go down to analyze evidence 
glass screen. Really just a summary of what we've got here. There's only one device, so it's pretty straightforward and it's ready to be imaged. I'm going to hit analyze evidence here. And what it's going to do is it's going to connect to the phone. It's going to do a backup and uh, it will begin processing it right away. Okay, so it's begun uh, the acquisition process. It's going to go through that. And like I said, it's going to automatically start processing um, as soon as it finishes the acquisition. Uh, I'm going to pause the video right here and I'll come back when, uh, when the acquisition is done. Okay, so the acquisition's finished. Um, it's uh, created a backup for me, and it looks like the uh, processing has just begun. Um, from here, Axiom will process the image, and uh, once it's finished, it'll uh, provide me with the report and to okay. examine. So, uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wait for it. We'll uh, uh, we'll let it run through, but uh, but that's everything I wanted to show. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.